Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the unilateral and bilateral element. First we will see the unilateral element. So the unilateral circuit elements are those elements that allow the flow of current in only one direction. It will allow the current in only one direction. So when the polarity of the power supply changed or reversed, either it will oppose the flow of current or shows the different property. So it can able to, the current will flow in only one direction. Suppose if you reverse the current or reverse the polarity, it will work with a different characteristics. So that it is called a unilateral. Unilateral means only one direction. If the direction changes, its property will change. So the VA characteristics of unilateral element changed when the polarity of the applied voltage reversed. Right? It will give the different VA characteristics. It will work only one, only one direction for a current flow with the only one direction. If any change in the current direction or polarity, the property will change. Right? So the example for this unilateral element diode SCR. So the diode SCR, so we have you know that forward bias and reverse bias. If anode is positive with respect to cathode, this is forward bias. If anode is negative with respect to cathode, it will reverse bias. So during forward bias, conduction is there. But during negative, during reverse bias, there is no conduction. So while changing the polarity, the property of the diode also changes. Similarly, SCR also. The SCR also very similar thing. Only thing you have to get gate terminal. So the anode is positive with respect to cathode. While giving the gate signal, it will start contact. Suppose if anode is negative with respect to cathode, it is reverse bias. Even if you give the gate signal, it will not contact. So during positive application of a voltage, it will contact. But if you apply the negative voltage to anode, it will not contact. So that it is called a unilateral element. So the circuit using diode and AC are called a unilateral circuit. Right? We will see the circuit diagram. So this is nothing but a bridge rectifier. So four diodes are available. D1, D2, D3, D4. So this is entire circuit is called a unilateral circuit. So this is the unilateral element. This diode is the unilateral element. It will conduct only in one direction. Positive. During negative mean it will not conduct. Right? The AC voltage is given. We are getting the DC output. So during positive of cycle D1 and D2 will conduct. D3 and D4 will not conduct because reverse bias. During negative of cycle D3 and D4 will conduct but D1 and D2 will not conduct. So it will work in only one direction. In order to get both positive and negative direction, negative cycle we are having four diodes are connected. So it will work in a one direction. Now we will see the bilateral element. Now we will see the bilateral element. Bilateral elements allow the current to flow in both direction through them. It can be able to, the current can flow in both positive direction as well as negative direction. The VA characteristics of bilateral element do not change so much with the reversal of the applied voltage. So during positive or negative, either the current direction is positive or negative, the characteristics will not change much more. It can be able to function for both positive current as well as negative current. They are mainly three passive elements means they are not require any external voltage to work and all of them are bilateral in nature. Basically there are three passive elements available that is nothing but resistor, inductor and capacitor. These three are also called as a passive element. There is no external sources required. The active and passive element, the separate video available. The link is available in the description box. You can, the viewers can see that what is mean by active and passive components. Available separate video, the link is available in the description box. So this resistor inductor capacitor is, is a, called a passive element that not, do not require any external force, external source. So during the change of current, polarity of voltage or current will not much more affect, right? It will act as it is. So the example is resistor inductor capacitor. 
so this bilateral circuit is available it's a connected resistor so either the current is positive or negative it will act as a resistor it will observe the power it will not bother about whether the current is positive or negative now we'll go for a comparison between unilateral and bilateral element we'll go for a comparison so we'll compare this unilateral element and bilateral elements so in unilateral element it will it allows the flow of current in one direction only only one direction but it allows the flow of current in both the directions right both the direction is possible the vi characteristics change with the reversal of applied voltage right we already discussed forward bias and reverse bias of the diode if you apply positive voltage it is forward bias diode if you apply negative voltage it become reverse biased so the polarity will change the the characteristics also will change but here the vi characteristics do not change with the reversal of the applied voltage here will not change for example here we have resistor capacitor and inductor and one more point is available the resistance and impedance property vary so much with the varying the following current where will varying the flowing current right so in this case the property will change but the resistant impedance property do not vary so much with the varying the flowing of current right why because diode scr is very important positive voltage is applied means forward bias negative voltage applied means reverse bias to the anode but here so it will vary the property but here not like that either positive or negative voltage it will this resistor will absorb the energy and dissipate in the form of heat inductor will store the energy in magnetic field capacitor will store the energy in electric field right much more change right so in this video we discuss what is unilateral element what is unilateral circuit what is bilateral element and bilateral circuit and comparison with example also we discussed thank you